Hi, I'm Donna Barnes. In this clip, I want to talk to you about it is time to stop blaming your parents for your bad behavior. And I'm talking about this because it's unbelievable to me. People, you know, say, oh, well, my parents were this or that and they left me and then like, and then they have abandonment issues and insecurities and commitment issues and anxiety issues. I mean, trust me, it's all real. However, you're now an adult. And yes, our issues come from our childhood, but once you get to a certain age, you have free will to fix those issues and stop blaming your parents. And it's really unattractive, uh, the, the, that victim mentality of like, oh, I had this horrible childhood, so you know, this is why I do this. And trust me, I get it. Not, most people didn't have like the most rosy childhood. I mean, let's face it, our parents didn't have the knowledge that today's parents have, right? Like there's all sorts of like, you know, self-help out there that wasn't around when most of us were little. So yeah, we've all had crap that scarred us, quite frankly, but you're so much more empowered if you're not blaming your parents for it and you're taking responsibility for your issues. And yeah, sometimes things will happen, but it's, it's much healthier and attr more attractive if you acknowledge it and apologize and say, you know, my bad, I'm sorry, that's a deep issue for me and I've been working on that, but I'm trying really hard not to do that is such a more attractive place to come from than going, well, you know, my, my mom left when I was little, so I have abandonment issues and that's just the way I respond to it. And you made me feel like you left me, so it's your fault. Blame is toxic. And anytime you blame anybody for why you did something, you're pushing them away. It's certainly not making them attractive to you. And actually, no one can ever make you do anything. You're an individual with free will and you have choice. Everything you do is a choice. And yes, you might have to make a stronger choice if you have a deep issue about something, but you still do have a choice. And if you didn't choose to behave empowered, that's on you, it's not on your parents. Your parents did the best that they can and now you're an adult, for better or for worse. So why not be for better? Be empowered and be attractive. It's, I think it's very attractive when someone admits, hey, yeah, I, I recognize that this is an issue and I'm working on it and I, that's not about you, right? I mean, so many miscommunications and arguments happen in a relationship because you're responding to your childhood wound and then your partner's going, I don't understand, what the heck? I, I don't get that, right? But if you're blaming them, then now it's gonna perpetuate that argument but if you can take that you know, emotion out of it and calmly go, you know what, I'm sorry, that's about my stuff and I apologize, that's not about you, right? Then now that person loves you, they're gonna wanna try to help you and make you feel better and you'll get a much better response. So if you're feeling wounded and damaged from something in your childhood, believe me, I do sympathize, I do. I've had my own stuff to work through but you're a much more attractive and empowered adult if you're taking responsibility for your own issues and not allowing them to sabotage your relationships.